see how it goes. Oof. It's harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> Here's go here goes nothing. We bought an experimental aircraft. Thing is, it hadn't been flown in years. Follow along as we transform our Sonics from a fixer to a flyer. Unbelievable. Only in aviation. Welcome back, guys. Finally got the weather I was waiting for. Looks like we're going to be over 70 degrees today here in the Northeast. First time in a long time. What do you say we finally get that new canopy fit? We've already got everything set up, got everything we need, all the tools, everything's ready, so let's take a look at that now. And here is that new canopy, and I can't wait to get this thing on. I've certainly done my homework on this job, I'm using a lot of things that are tried and true that other people have done before me, with a little bit of tweaks along the way. Now the main tools we're going to be using today is this Dremel oscillating tool. with a half moon shape wooden drywall blade. As you can see, it's well used. I, I use this tool for just about anything I can. I like it a lot. I feel good with it. Uh, I think we're gonna have a good result today. The other primary tool we're gonna be using today is this half inch belt sander from Harbor Freight. If you're a regular on the Sonics Flight podcast, you've probably seen this talked about. This tool is pretty new to me, but I've played around with it a bit and I really like what it's capable of. I think this will do the job perfectly. As you can see, we can get new belts for it, just its size and a couple different grits. I went ahead and made an undersized template for the turtle deck area, just like the video from Sonic's Aircraft says to do. Here it's undersized just enough for the canopy to be level with the turtle deck all the way around. So first cuts primary fitting we'll use this template and then we'll work the canopy frame into it as well I sanded all the edges on the template just to be safe the canopy I covered any potential sharp edge with painters tape all the way around now you see these extra pieces of painters tape those are going to be my alignment marks after I get the rough cutting done and I get it basically into place I'll do the same thing on the canopy and have some sharpie marks that I can line up and be centered every time before I make my cuts, or I make my marks in my cuts. Sonic's aircraft tends to really emphasize making sure the canopy is being cut in a warmed up area and that the plexiglass itself is warmed up before making any cuts to help limit your chances of cracking. So here I've got this little Amazon basic space heater in here in the cockpit area to help bring this area up to temperature because I don't, I don't have direct sunlight. So hopefully that'll help. Once the canopy sits on, of course, that'll hold in some of the heat and hopefully that heat works into the canopy itself. Back to the canopy itself, you'll see this masking tape mark. This is what Sonic's aircraft puts on when they make the canopy and before they ship it to you to give you an idea what's the overall rough shape. And it's definitely, it's generously oversized. It's not something that, uh, I don't think we have a lot of chance of screwing up on the first cut. Now on the video that Sonex put out, they say to, after you match it up, you make sure everything's good, go ahead and make a cut around the outside edge of the masking tape for your, your first rough cut. When they made it, they did mark this particular one front. I've heard of some not being marked, but I mean, when you have it set up on a table like this, it's pretty easy to tell, but I'm happy they did it. Now using our Dremel tool, let's go ahead and make our first cuts. The one thing to note, I used a scrap piece of the old canopy and I got my speed set just right. So where this blade is cutting, but it's also fast enough where it's actually melting the plexiglass as well. So that helps harden the ends, but also helps, uh, helps keep you from cracking. Let's see how it goes. Oof. It's harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> Here's go, here goes nothing. Now the cool thing about 
using one of these oscillating tools is I can actually draw the line I'm going to cut before I commit to a full-on cut. Like you're still damaging the surface, but I can go ahead and go back and forth and basically draw a channel that the blade will follow, and then I can put more pressure in and then cut through. It takes longer, but it's a lot more precise, and I'm a lot more comfortable with it. I'm already seeing why some people put a strap around the whole thing, so I'm going to go ahead and do that too. So we're done with our initial cut, now I need to sand the edges, get rid of any stress risers or any high spots that could lead to cracking while we're working the canopy around. Thing's really smooth. Give a special shout out to Jeff Schultz on the Sonic Flight podcast for recommending this tool. This thing works great. Initial cut was made, the edges are sanded, and now we just put it back on the fuselage, line it up with what's centered, use our painter's tape, get our alignment marks on the canopy as well, mark everything, and then we'll start marking out where we're going to cut next. Let's do it. I keep coming up here to the front of the airplane on a step stool and looking at it here and moving it little by little, and each individual corner different on both sides trying to see where it looks to be centered. That's not necessarily obvious on this. It all depends on the, the shape of the canopy itself. And I've heard there can be some variation between them. I mean, it's, that happens, it's manufacturing. But just trying to find the best fit for this particular canopy. This might take longer than the cutting and sanding. 
figured out where we want the canopy to be. I got the tape on both sides. And now I'm going to make my alignment marks before uh, marking the forward and back cuts, just in case I move something out of whack beforehand. Now that's done, we can go ahead and take our painter's tape and mark the areas we're going to cut off the front and the back of the canopy. The idea is we want the front and the back of the canopy to sit down in the sill channels that we made, both here with the, the windscreen bow and then my particle board bow that I made. Now you probably already noticed Sonics did leave me a pretty generous amount of plexiglass here to help line this up and get our cuts. I start here on the back, one continuous piece of tape, working my way up over the top and on the other side. And once again, I'm making the line where the bottom of the tape line is where we're going to cut. Pushing that again, just make sure our lines are lined up. I'm actually going to go just a touch, a touch oversize. You can always take material off, but can't add any more. Get the cutting. You know what they say, measure twice, or more, and cut once. I really just wanted to double and triple check my marks before making that cut on the other side. No going back from there. Time for more sanding. Now this is one of those cases where pretty much everything I read online is 100% true. When I sand a little bit on the front, Let's see, even just this front corner, it affects that back, it affects the opposite corner, it, it affects everything. So, as I'm going through and sanding, I'm having to constantly go back and forth between the workbench to the airplane and see what that change has made. And as, as the canopy gets smaller, it gets harder to just throw it on here and fit it on by myself. So, as a lot of people say, if you can get somebody to give you a hand, by all means do it. I'm still here doing it myself and we're gonna make many more trips back and forth before, uh, before we call this thing good enough. So. <sighs> more sanding. I had to punch in for family time when my wife got home, so no more sanding until the next day. We're now on the second day of canopy fitting and what I've been working on last night and this morning. 
just trying to roughly get that front edge into the sill. A little bit of cutting, a little bit of sanding, a little bit of cutting, a little bit of sanding, refit. Take it on, take it off, take it on, take it off. You get the idea. And I finally got the front sill in a rough area that I think will be okay. Now I've got this half portion marked with painter's tape and we're gonna go ahead and give it a close shave. All right, our canopy is now sitting in both sills. Alignment marks mostly line up. I see a few spots I'm gonna to have to sand and fit some more. And our gap's kind of all over the place, but we'll get that hand fitted after a bit. Next job is to mark our sides. Mark that with the painter's tape and then cut the shape and finish that part of our rough fitting. Our canopy is roughly fit into place. Made a huge mess. Got plexiglass dust everywhere. But we're just about there. The next step is to take the template off the back. I'll reinstall the canopy frame and then continue the fitting, continue the sanding, a little bit here, a little bit there. Uh, it's a pretty long, drawn out process, but uh, after we get that right, then we start drilling holes and put the canopy in the frame. But that'll be in part two. Till then, thanks for watching, and I hope this video helped you on your canopy or other plexiglass project.